Come on. <laughs> Come on, Turtle Man. Let's talk about guinea pig bedding. What kind of guinea pig bedding is the best, and what are the pros and cons of each? Regardless of what type of bedding you choose, you want to do it right. You don't want to wing it, and so this video will help you with all the information you need to make the right decision. Timmy needs to be on fleece because of his mobility issues, but because I use both fleece and pine bedding, I can tell you the pros and cons of each. And we're going to do that in just a second. But look how nice this really looks. There is something to be said for a clean fleece cage. It looks so cool. But there are many reasons why a pine shavings bedding might work better for you. In this video, we're gonna talk about all those reasons. Gary, what's that on your nose? You got pine shavings on your nose, Gary. Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. What kind of bedding should my guinea pigs have? I get that question a lot when I'm volunteering at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue or in the comments to a lot of these videos or just in my email. If you have questions, you can go to my website, Scotty's Animals, and there's a form where you can send me a question. But you could also put it in here. And so one of the questions that I get is, what is the best kind of bedding? Should I use pine or should I use fleece? And what else is there? So in this video, I just wanna talk about all of your options, the ones that we recommend at the Guinea Pig Rescue, and from my personal experience, what I like the best. So as you just saw in the opening sequence, Timmy and Mike, they live on fleece down here. And that's because Timmy has mobility issues, so he needs a soft, smooth surface. But let's talk about all the different types of beddings and the benefits and maybe some of the drawbacks that each one have. Because I don't think there is a perfect bedding, but I think there are numerous options that will be right for you. Hey Gary, come here. Ooh. So Gary lives on pine shavings. Now at the rescue, most of the guinea pigs also live on kiln dried pine. Now, if you've gotten your pine shavings from either a pet store or a feed store or some store where this indicates that it is intended for animal bedding, then it is okay as long as it says kiln dried. We use the same type of pine shavings in the horse stalls as we do with the guinea pigs. Now, some people think that there may be uh, upper respiratory infections associated with pine shavings. Now. I know that cedar, cedar is a no-no. Wood that has a, a, a very strong smell you want to stay away from, and cedar is one of them. Aspen is okay in my experience, but pine will always say kiln-dried pine shavings or kiln-dried pine bedding if it is okay for you to use for small animals. Give me a blur. Okay, I'm gonna put Gary back. Hey, can I pick you up? Nails also, Nails and Piggy Smalls, well they have kind of a mixed bag because they live on pine shavings but they also have a loft which is fleece so they can go up there and sit on the softness anytime they want. But to be honest, they spend most of their time hanging out below the loft uh, in the messiest part of their cage where they do most of their business. Okay, Nails, look, you're on a shirt. I always love to remind people um, Look how far Nails has come since this, uh, in this shirt, he's still wearing his, uh, he had to wear a sweater to prevent him from itching because of his mange. So if you, I mentioned my website, if you want more information about mange or ringworm or other illnesses, on my website there's links to not only uh, how to identify it, but how to treat it and some of the uh, medications and over-the-counter products that we use at the rescue and that I use here at home. What are all the types of beddings? Why don't I just um, 
why don't I just put all the types of beddings, I'll just list them here. So we have kiln dried pine, as I mentioned, okay? And other wood beddings would be aspen is okay, and cedar is not okay, okay? Sometimes it doesn't actually say what it is, but most likely when it just says all wood shavings, it's most likely pine. And as long as it says kiln dried, you're okay. Okay, so now let's talk about the paper bedding. There is a type of paper bedding called Care Fresh. There's other brands that also make it, but it's a little paper wadded up bedding. Um, it's totally fine to use. It is just very expensive for not that much. And not only that, uh, when it gets wet, I think it tends to smell kind of funky, kind of a little moldy and gross. So it's not my preferred bedding for those reasons. But if somebody was to give you a truckload for free, I would say use it. It's great. And maybe sprinkle a little pine shavings in for the um, odor and the moisture absorbing properties that the pine has. Let's talk about fleece. So the fleece is not just a blanket that you get you know, at, at a, a store. These are specifically made uh, absorbent pee pads where you have two layers of polar fleece or some fleece similar to that. People who are fleece experts, please, in the comments, let people know what kind of fleece. We got a popcorning piggy over here. <laughs> uh, so fleece experts, let us know what kind of fleece to use and not to use. But in the middle of these two sewn layers of fleece, there's an absorbent layer. Sometimes it's a U-Haul pad, which Quite literally, the pads that you get at U-Haul that you put to make sure your furniture doesn't get damaged when you're moving, those pads can be used, sewn into the middle. Are you kissing me? I love you too. I love you so much. If you don't want to use the U-Haul pads, you can also get um, cotton bedding, batting, sorry, cotton batting and use it as bedding. The batting you'll find in sewing stores, fabric stores, and, and also the big, uh, bigger, um, you know, uh, big box stores. Okay, so it's up to you to decide which ones are right for you. Let's talk about the different beddings and the pros and cons of them. I'm gonna put you back. Let's talk about fleece. Fleece is very soft, it's very comfortable for your piggies but it tends not to be as absorbent as you might want it to be, as you might think it is, or as some other alternatives. Okay. No chattering. They're fine. Okay, so with fleece, sometimes your piggies will pee, but they will roll over into the little pee puddle before it has a chance to absorb, and I find that that makes your piggies sometimes on fleece smell more like pee. Even if you're spot cleaning twice a day, they can still end up getting their fur wet from their own pee just because of the way they lay in it, depending on your pig. Some pigs will go in a corner and that's their spot. And in, in that case, you might even be able to set up a little area with a tray or uh, something else like that. Some people will have a little uh, section that is pine shavings and then the majority of it is fleece if their piggies are already self-trained. I do have a video about can you potty train your piggies, um, I'll put that right here, but basically uh, you, there are some things that you can do to promote their behavior, as I mentioned in that video, but it's really kind of up to their sensibility as to whether or not they will do it. What are you guys doing? Did you guys just get in a fight? Did you just bite him? Did he just bite you? You just ate some of his fur. Relax. Hey, I know these boys usually, <laughs> these boys usually will get in a tussle and then they will lay down and take a nap together, so I'm not too worried about them. Um, so to sum up fleece, the pros are it's very soft, it is really fun, it can almost become an addiction, the different patterns that you can get. And if you get into the groove of it with having little pieces on top of larger pieces, it's not too hard to... Uh, change out the different pieces and keep it clean and fairly manageable. But the cons are your piggies can kind of smell like pee sometimes and you really need to do a lot of laundry and if you share a, a washing machine say in a, in a community type environment it might be a little much 
for you and also for your neighbors to do that that laundry in the uh, community washing machine. I've found that if I'm going to wash my clothes, I like to have a little buffer cycle where maybe I wash dirty towels or uh, some other things first. Boys, I need to give them a pile of hay. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of pine shavings. The pros would be that your piggies do smell very fresh. It's very inexpensive. Um, okay, well, let's just re-talk about with fleece. Fleece, you can save a lot of money because after the initial investment in those fleece pieces, all you're doing is washing them and reusing them over and over. So uh, that might be a solution for you. So back to pine shavings. Um, it is relatively inexpensive. At the rescue, we have a huge bag for $15, and usually you'll see a, a medium-large bag for about $7 to $10. So considering you can usually get two or more changes out of those, uh, we're talking about less than $5 to clean the cage, or about $5 to clean the cage, which is fine. Um, and you want to have with the pine shavings a nice thick layer. It can't just be a little sprinkling of pine shavings. It's going to stink. A 2 by 3 needs to have this much pine shavings uh, and you're still going to really want to clean it after uh, 6 or 7 days. But with a 2 by 4 with a nice even good layer of pine shavings, it shouldn't get too gross. Okay, so let's recap the pine shavings. It's really inexpensive. Your piggies won't smell like pee. They, uh, it's easy to take care of. It's easy to clean. You only have to clean it once a week. Um, let's talk about the downside. Uh, if you don't use enough, it can get kind of funky. If you are not cleaning it once a week, it can get kind of funky. Some people seem to think that the, they can get uh, respiratory infections with pine shavings. I think that it's just like uh, any other bedding. If you don't keep it clean, then it could cause problems. But I don't think that the pine shavings themselves do because especially at the guinea pig rescue, they've saved thousands of guinea pigs. We've had numerous long-term residents all living on pine except for the skinny pigs. So that's one thing I want to mention. Skinny pigs really need to live on fleece. They're, uh, they don't have the fur protection. Um, they really, it also helps keep them warm. And skinny pigs in general, they just need a little bit more care. If you want more information about skinny pigs specifically, or how skinny pigs can live with regular guinea pigs, uh, or hairy guinea pigs, that is, uh, check out Skinny Pigs 1. I'll put them in the description as well uh, as right here. Here's a link to uh, her channel. So my two favorite beddings would be either pine or fleece. We mentioned the paper bedding earlier and I just think it's too expensive and when it gets wet it's kind of funky. But I did say that if you got a truckload for free, sprinkle a little pine shavings in there. They even sell a mixture that's half and half, but it's still very expensive anytime you get into that name brand paper bedding. Speaking of paper bedding, what should you not use? Just shredded paper is not good. It's not absorbent enough. It's too, the individual pieces are flat, whereas the pine shavings, the individual pieces are very absorbent, usually uh, porous and not flat, but they're curved or in some way, it's a lot softer. So you can't use newspaper either, even unprinted newsprint, it's just not a good idea. And while I'm at it, you can't use just plain fleece blankets or old blankets. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a bedding snob. What I'm trying to say is you will save yourself a lot of heartache if you invest in the proper bedding supplies. The uh, paper bedding by itself can be disgusting and horrible to clean up. Just using old towels, it's very hard to separate the stuck on poop pellets and the pee and all that, it's just, it's going to be gross. So I really recommend getting actual fleece flippers, the larger size to cover your entire cage, and then also smaller pieces, of either one by two feet or little one by one squares or two by two squares. You get a whole bunch of different sizes so that you can lay them out as you saw me do it in the beginning. And 
Skinny Pigs one I mentioned before, she has quite the fleece collection and all her guinea pigs live on fleece. So with that, let's start the debate in the comments. What's your favorite type of bedding? Let's keep it positive because remember, everybody who is here, who takes the time to watch these videos and takes the time to comment, only cares uh, for their piggies and wants to do the best for them. All right, thank you guys for watching so much and I am really looking forward to seeing the comments. So Billy lives on pine, but he has his fleece tunnel that he loves sleeping in. But ever since I introduced the bigger tunnel, uh, he smells kind of funky because you can see his pee and poop is right there and he just doesn't care. But uh, I was able to get a smaller tunnel, I'm not using that right now, but when I use the smaller fleece tunnel, his butt sticks out and most of the carnage comes out the, the back.